AITA for telling my, 21F, family that my partner, 21M, forced me to do a paternity test? Trigger warnings, past child abuse, emotional manipulation, verbal abuse, infidelity, demands of paternity tests. My partner and I have been together for over four years and I recently gave birth to our daughter. We had kept the pregnancy to ourselves till our baby was born happy and healthy due to worries about complications as I faced a high-risk pregnancy. We told our families after she was born, while my family was ecstatic, he was questioning if we hid it for ulterior reasons, they've always heavily disliked me and believe I'm just with their son for money. Yesterday we took her to meet her grandparents from his side and, after some polite conversation, they dropped the bomb that they would be doing a paternity test that he agreed to. To not make myself look suspicious I agreed to it but afterward made it clear to my partner that I felt incredibly disrespectful. Cue an argument where he told me it wasn't a big deal if it was his and that the test was requested for by them to ease their uncertainty. Fast forward to today, I was having lunch with my mother and told her about the incident which left her pissed off and calling my partner a couple of names for insinuate I could have cheated. My mother ended up telling my grandparents who in a rage told him they would no longer accept him in their house for disrespecting me in such a way when the child is practically his twin. We had another argument about it and he screamed saying I ruined his image by telling them. Edit, some of you are concerned about hiding my pregnancy part so to clarify. My partner and I live a couple hours away from our families since we live by his university and typically only see each other on holidays and special events. On top of that I have a very petite figure and had a rather small bump up until I gave birth so I was hardly showing as is which made hiding it a lot easier. Hiding it was a personal choice as I faced horrible anxiety due to constant bleeds throughout my pregnancy which made me fear the worst. Update 1. So two days ago my partner's mother received the results of the paternity test which, of course, showed my partner to be the father. They immediately called him super ecstatic and ready to take their place in the life of my daughter. My partner was also incredibly happy as well since we would now be receiving their support due to the confirmation of my daughter being his. For reference, since he's studying and doesn't work his family pays for his school and his half of the bills. I on the other hand, work and pay my half of bills myself. In other words he's reliant on them financially despite my insistence that we could survive off my salary. To his dismay though, with the confirmation of his paternity assured, I told him I wanted a break from him and his family's antics, this is not the first stunt they pull that antagonizes me, and before this is flooded with questions as to why I didn't leave sooner. I was naive and thought our love for each other would beat their disapproval of our relationship. It wasn't, that is clear to me now. We ended up arguing over it but, against his wishes, I packed a bag for me and the baby anyways and drove to stay with my parents. He apologized at night and agreed that his part in the entire paternity stunt was messed up, but that he agreed it had to be done even if he was certain she was his. Fast forward to yesterday he texted me asking if I was willing to see him as he missed me and the baby. I agreed, assuming we could move past the whole ordeal. My family is still against him stepping foot in their house so we ended up meeting at a park to walk around. He apologized again and told me that the test was done so his family could trust me and willingly be a part of our daughter's life though I admitted that I had no intentions of letting them be around her till they at least apologized to me. This heated him up and he began screaming claiming that as her father I had no right to keep her from his family no matter what they did. I disagreed though, advising him that if they couldn't respect me they had no reason to be a part of her life. The argument went nowhere and I left with the baby back to my parents. He's since been texting and calling me saying that he'd take me to court if I deprive his family access to her. I don't think my position on the matter is wrong but to him I'm an AH for it. Edit before any more comments are made about my position about his parents. There's more to it than just the test. I had always stressed to my partner that I wanted his mother specifically at a distance from our child. This was due to how horrific she treated us both for the first year of our relationship prior to us moving out together. Secondly, the woman is bipolar and abused my partner both physically and mentally when he was growing up as a child due to him having ADHD and being more hyper, this is what he told me at least. Knowing this, I'm obviously weary of his mother around my daughter the paternity test was just the nail on the coffin for me. Update 2. I wasn't planning to update but upon seeing all the requests I figured I'd do one. If you want the full story it's all up on my profile. Since my last update, which was around 9 months ago, a lot has happened. As if the paternity test, awful laws, and disrespect wasn't enough my partner was also cheating on me. According to him, it was all emotional and nothing physical, although I find a hard time believing this. Turns out this, emotional, affair has been going on since I was pregnant, with multiple girls. He got caught after, deciding last second, to meet up with one of them at 11pm one night. He claims they were just playing poker with a group and weren't alone together. Likely story. He was ignoring my messages and calls so I called his best friend, thinking he was with him, who gave him away. Since then, we obviously broke up and I moved down with my family and our daughter. Originally, I tried to be a bigger person and consider our daughter before my own feelings and decided to co-parent. He would come see her on weekends and for a while it worked. 
Soon enough he also moved down to his mother's house after his semester ended and he claimed our place was too much for him to pay alone. This, although maybe not a lie, wasn't his real reason for moving down. Due to his lack of attending class and poor grades he was kicked from his university, this is relevant for later. Fast forward a bit, and he began demanding to have her overnight rather than only the day. I told him he couldn't because she was still strictly breastfed and needed me at all times. He decided to argue our custody at court once and for all. Granted, up until now, I hadn't asked him for a penny for our daughter ever or much of anything really. If he saw her it was his choice and I never made him pay me any sort of child support. After going to court, not only did he have to pay me quite a hefty sum for child support but he wasn't even awarded partial custody. The court discovered that on top of not having a stable job, he also doesn't have a stable living situation after his mother kicked him onto the streets. Yeah, the mother dearest that he was at the beck and call for left him homeless, and disowned him after she discovered he was kicked out of his university. For as much as I want to say it's karma, I don't believe anyone deserves to be in any situation like that. That was all back in June. Now, he and I are doing better. He's moved into a studio and we agreed he could have her every other week plus on his off days from work. Admittedly, it's been hard to not break down whenever he's around me. I still feel a lot of the pain from when I discovered I endured so much just for him to find solace with other women. But, he and I have moved past it for the most part and are co-parenting without problems. Thankfully, I want to say I've come out stronger. Our daughter has become my main focus and I even advanced in my career to a place where I can live rather comfortably. It's not the happy ending I wish I could have gotten if I'm honest, but I think given everything, it's the best one. Edit, when I said every other weekend I did not mean overnight. He only has her during the day. In total he has her about 8 days of the month during the day. It's not 50-50 custody as he still has no rights over her other than seeing her. While it may not seem wise to abide 100% to the court rulings, my daughter adores her father and while he may have been a cheating partner he hasn't been a bad father. If it comes to bite me in the ass so be it but my daughter deserves to have her father around for more than four days in a month, this doesn't mean he and I will get back together. I have established that isn't happening ever. Relevant comments. Commenter 1, I'm concerned that you are setting him up to get 50% custody at his convenience, and it will lower your child support payments if the court makes the arrangement official. It might be wise to consult an attorney before giving up more custody than you want to permanently establish. Also, it seems like you are bending over backward to conform to his schedule. It really should be the other way around. Commenter 2, I read all of your posts and you are NTA. Fortunately the court saw fit to give you and your daughter what you rightly deserved. You ex was a cheater and once booted from uni mommy had no use for him. I am curious when the crazy lady will start to demand access. Keep safe and build a beautiful life for you and your daughter. When you are ready the right person will come along and be a willing and able partner to you both, not that you need it.